All right, so let's take a look at how we would design the flow chart for the quiz bot. As usual, we start with the user triggers the welcome intent. And uh, what the bot is going to do is uh, I just copied these so it will be handier for me. Um, it's going to say which of these is used to keep track of the current state of a dialogue flow conversation. And then it's going to provide them with these set of choices. Now we will await answer one, the first answer from the user. And let's say that the user answers correctly. The bot is going to move on to the next question. And that's going to be which of these We used to configure the sensitivity and once again I'm going to paste these and let's say we await answer 2 and the user answers correctly again then the bot is going to ask the third question then it's going to provide these as the list of possible options and then we are going to await answer 3 and then let's say the user answers correctly then what we are going to do at that point is uh, bot is going to say correct Thanks for taking the quiz. And we have to also remember that we should add this uh, feedback over here. Uh, you have to say correct for this one and also for this one too. All right, so this is what we have for the uh, chain of correct answers when the a uh, user is answering correctly, the bot just keeps saying correct and then just keeps moving on to the next question. Now let us suppose here when we have this await answer 1 set as the output context, let's say that at this point the user actually provides an incorrect answer. So what we have to do to handle that is answers incorrectly and the bot is going to say sorry the correct answer this context and of course it's going to uh, otherwise it's going to use the same stuff so let's go ahead and copy this paste it here now here's the important thing what you have to understand over here is that now it has to again set the output context to be await answer to because if you think about it in this part yeah, effectively you are going to have uh, the same set of questions get asked whether or not the user got the answer correctly you know that's the important thing that you have to remember over, about this particular bot so what uh, I recommend for that is first of all let's do one thing let's select all these contexts and make sure that we use the ellipse as the shape and the other thing that I recommend is that uh, you number the context. So here, instead of saying await answer 1, I might say something like 1 await answer 1. So the 1 here is the number that I am assigning for that context. It has nothing to do with the internal context of in Dialogflow. This is just something that we are using as a label for that context so that it's easy for us to, um, it's, it's easy for us to reference that context name in our flowchart. So what I'll do here is in this case I'm just going to say 2 just indicate that it's going to point to context number 2 and then I'm going to use the shape of circle. Alright so this is the convention that I'm suggesting uh, people follow. Of course you can if you want you can change this convention uh, change the shape and other things like that. The only important thing is that 
you have to be consistent with the convention that you do select eventually. So now let's uh, also select these other intents and turn them into rectangles so that you know we follow the overall convention also. Okay. So here what do we do in this case? So if the answer 2 turns out to be incorrect, you're going to do effectively the same thing. You say answers incorrectly and the bot is going to say sorry, the correct answer is ML threshold and then we are going to copy the rest. There you go. So, and once you do that, as before, what we want to do is we want the output context to go back to this await underscore answer three. So we are just going to mark it with the number three, which is the context, which is the number we gave assigned to this context. And then we are going to turn it uh, into the, the shape we are going to give this one is just a regular circle. Uh, so that you are clear about like what exactly the information represents that is this is an intent and this is a reference to a context all right so this is how we will design the flow diagram of the quiz bot so you can see let's uh, go over it very quickly one more time you're going to first ask which of these is used to keep track and then you await answer one you make sure that you provide a label for this context you number it with the number one um, and you have to obviously make sure that each context, each unique context that you use, you have to make sure that you're going to have a unique label for each of them. So this is going to be one and then this is two. And what happens here is if the user answers incorrectly, we still want it to go back to this uh, same um, question. So that is it, it has to go back to the same output context. So we just set two over here. And then based on the user's answer, um, this uh, next question is going to uh, get that is it's going to make sure that the same await answer two is set as the output context for this intent also so we are ready to handle the next reply from the user so this is how we will design the flow diagram for the quiz bot